What's up, YTPC? Uncle Willie coming to you today from sunny Aragon, Georgia. Yep, down south. I apologize if you hear the uh, lawnmower in the background. I haven't heard one of those since last year. We haven't cut new grass up in Maryland yet. It'll probably be another week or two, but my brother-in-law, he's already cut his a couple times. The neighbor over here, they're cutting theirs now. So as they get closer to the border, you you might hear it. So I apologize if you do, if it interferes. I am sitting out on the porch. Beautiful day. It's like upper 70s. It was supposed to be 80 today, but I don't think it's... The weather th said that it's not quite going to get to 80, but it, it's pretty warm. I was out on the back deck and uh, I ended up having to come back out here in the shade. But the last couple days when we got here, it was like 60s and it was breezy, kind of chilly. So, today, I know it's Cobb Tuesday, but guess what? I'm not smoking a cob. I have my Nording Valhalla Bulldog with some salty dogs. Seems like I smoke salty dogs on Tuesday, so I'm gonna start dedicating uh, Tuesday for me to be Salty Dog Tuesday. Everybody else can do whatever they want, so why not, right? Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good old Chris. <clears throat> so, my brother-in-law and I, we went to uh, a cigar shop yesterday. They had, a, they had some pipes in there and a couple of tins of tobacco. They had uh, about 10... 10 different types of Peterson tobacco and about a dozen Cornell and Deal, the two ounce cans of those. They didn't have nothing that interests me that I already have or what I don't have is something I didn't want so I didn't purchase anything. We grabbed a couple cigars. We sat down at the bar, a place called Old Havana, I think Old Havana Cigar shop something like that old havana something the boy behind the uh bartender says ah, my name's joey uh you know if you need anything give me a holler whatever so i walked around the humidor picked out a couple cigars come sit back down and uh we're sitting there smoking and so he come down to the end of the bar where we were and i said uh joey what, what you got over there for, uh, for pipes? He was like, we got some, uh, some a, bas a basket of basket pipes. He said, I'll bring them over. And I was like, all right. Well, they looked like those old pipes you used to get at uh, the five and dime that you blew bubbles out of. They were that small. I mean, they were 40 bucks a piece. They weren't none of them even worth probably 12. So I was like, oh, that's cool, man. Thanks a lot. You know, you don't be rude with nobody like that. He was a real, he's a nice guy. So he come back over and he was telling me, he said, yeah, I got Savinelli and uh, uh, some Petersons. And then we have uh, pipes from a local guy that makes pipes. I was like, oh, really? So what, are the, what are they? And I said, what's his name or, you know, whatever. He said, I think they're, uh, they're a Nording is that a guy's name is Eric? He's local here. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. So he walked away. I looked at my brother-in-law and said, Nordian pipes are Danish. They're, they're Denmark, you know. I mean, I pulled it up on my phone and I said, look, here. I showed him on smoking pipes, the uh, Nordian pipes. And it says right up there about Denmark and all. And I was like, yeah, Eric Nordian. <laughs> He don't live around here in Georgia. But you never know. He might have a house in Georgia. They could have a house anywhere. I mean, it's subject to be be true. But 
Just a little bit of pipe history that I know. I don't think Eric Norton lives around here and makes pipes and then gives them to the store. He had like six Norton. They were the freehand. They were all, we had one finished. The other were all natural. It was like the signature freehand, the natural. And uh, he won like 110 to 120 for them. And I'm pretty sure you could pick them up for about 80 bucks. So we just, you know, finished up, enjoyed our cigars. My brother-in-law had a beer. Good time, you know, we were able to hang out uh, and, you know, I got to go down to downtown Rome, Georgia. So it was a good time. You know, I, I wasn't gonna tell that guy that, hey man, you're full of shit, dude. You know, <laughs> that's just not what we do in the community. We will tell one another when something is right or wrong, but we won't do it to try to make the other one look like a fool. Because if I miss, if I put any misinformation out there, and I have before, and I was corrected, <clears throat> I did not go after the guy that told me the correction when he commented on one of my videos. I thanked him for letting me know the, the truth, the real information. None of us want to be misleading to each other. That's not what we do. And if we correct one another, you do it with tact, you know, and tell somebody that no, that's not, you know, whatever it is, the case is, and that's, that's the way we handle it. We're all men and women. We should be able to take corrective criticism. So, if, you know, even, even not critic, criticism, I mean, I made a comment about Lakeland and one of my subs made a comment on the video about the different kinds of Lakeland. I had no clue that there was that many different Lakeland. I just thought that it was the one that tastes like soap, the old lady perfume. Cause I know the one has it and I like it, the floral note, but I didn't like the perfume stuff. But anyway, yeah. I brought a, I didn't even bring my, my open salty dogs. I brought, brought a uh, fresh pouch and cut a, cut a, a flake off about an eighth inch thick, rubbed it out and chopped it up some, threw it in here. It took almost all of it. I put the rest back into the, to the little pouch. Well, I love me some salty dog. Hope everybody's having a good day so far. It is 1.35 Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday. Have, I haven't been able to catch up on watching some videos. I was able to watch a couple, but we've been kind of busy. It's hard to, hard to just dedicate, you know, an hour or so to watch YouTube videos. So I apologize we're not watching any of you guys and commenting like I usually do. It's not because I don't want to. It's just that I'm probably, you know, busy. And by the time I get around to it, y'all probably have a couple of videos up that I want that I'll end up missing a couple. But I'll try to catch up when I can when I get back home through the evening when I'm here and we're after dinner and whatnot. I'm able to go out back and watch one or two. Like right now, I watched one a little while ago too, actually. Here's my setup. I don't know how well y'all can see that. Whoa. I, I'm using that selfie stick that I told y'all about my wife got. So it's. Oh, wow. Well. 
something like that. Anyway, it's a nice, nice area here. It's a, it's kind of country, but it's residential. I mean, there's a lot of woods out in between, but just a little subdivision here. So, you know, it's a 50-50 thing. There's city limits, but they're in the county, not the city. We drove my wife's car down so I can't sit out there and do any videos in her in her vehicle. I don't smoke in her car. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off of here. I just wanted to check in, see what you guys are up to. Hope you all are having a good week so far. Enjoy what you do. And until next time, stuff them and puff them.